Hello and welcome to the last episode for 2021 of the 15 Minute Book Club. I'm your host David Wears and I'm ably assisted as always by producer Wilson of Warm Winter Productions. Good evening. And this podcast is brought to the World Wide Web by El Gavster, a woman in Yucatan. On today's episode, we're not looking at a single book. Instead, we're going to look ahead to 2022, the plans we've got to develop the podcast and some of the books we'll be diving into. Before we start, though, if you'd like to recommend something to read, make a complaint, offer to buy me a cake or get involved with the production of the podcast, get in touch. I'm on Facebook, look for David Wares, that's spelled W-A-R-E-S, or via this email, jazzpunk101 at protonmail.com. And if you like to subscribe, feel free. Uh, we've already got one listener who's going to get involved and discuss some of their book choices. So right now, we are taking on extra people. Feel free to get in touch. Okay, moving on. Here are some of the books we'll be looking at next year. Starting off with Tender is the Night. This is my favourite of F. Scott Fitzgerald's books. It's a meditation on self-destruction, on madness, and the breakdown of a relationship. It's the last novel of his career. And if Gatsby is his great novel... Tender as the Night is his greatest, so I'm really looking forward to that. Another thing we're going to be looking at is an essay called A Nice Cup of Tea by George Orwell. You know, everyone bandies about the word Orwellian to justify their argument and to demolish the argument of their opponents. Orwellian is used almost as much as words like fascist and racist, with equally vague and malleable interpretations. But the word Orwellian was a product of its time as much as those other words. So, from all the books and essays by Orwell, I really want to look at this one, A Nice Cup of Tea. It's a description of a comforting ritual, and on the surface it's about tea, but it's also a celebration of Englishness, and England during the time of war. So that's coming up to some future point. Another novel I want to look at is The Garden of Eden by Ernest Hemingway. This is a fantastic book. Hemingway's writing tends to be synonymous with rugged masculinity, but this novel explores would you believe, non-binary relationships about 80 years before the idea became fashionable. I'm also going to be looking at the Roald Dahl novel, Danny Chapman of the World, because we need to do more children's novels on this podcast. And this adventure story is great. I chose it also because my own son is called Danny, and of course I read it to him. And maybe we'll do a, a Roald Dahl special at some point too. Getting back to more adult stuff, another book I'll be looking at is Post of Us. Uh, that was Charles Bukowski's breakthrough novel. It's a book about enduring. It's about enduring life, enduring struggle, enduring dreams. It's about never surrendering to the forces of mediocrity. And it's also about alcohol and about being a postman. So that's one to look forward to. Treat by Christopher Hampton will be the first player script we're going to look at. It's a dark tale of a woman who has to choose between two men. A nice guy who's just a bit boring and a complete bastard who's also interesting, charismatic, demanding and quite a bit cruel as well. It was written in the early 70s and it's been updated since but the dynamics of the relationships are completely unreconstructed. At some point I intend to do a deep dive into the work of William Gibson whose prophetic vision of a world immersed in techno-noir of Microsoft implants, a world in which the uber-rich live glossy, highly protected lives high above the grimy existence of the many, and in which high-tech is mostly grubby and lo-fi. More prophetic than H.G. Wells or Philip K. Dick, William Gibson is the sci-fi writer whose imagination conceived the world we live in long before it happened. So we'll definitely be looking at his novels. I'm also going to start something that I'm tentatively calling the Conflict Series. Books about war. Books such as M.A.S.H., Dispatches, Heart of Darkness and others. We'll bring them into the light and give them a good shake and see what universal truths books about warfare and life during war can tell us. On the non-fiction side, I'm going to kick that off with White Fragility, in which Robert D'Angelo explains that all forms of success and all forms of achievement are the product of racism. An idea that both strokes the ego and reinforces the dominance of the ultra-woke, mostly white, billionaire feudal elite. And I'll try and get that one done before she's cancelled, because she definitely, at some point, she will be cancelled. Also in non-fiction, I'll be starting a series called The Rules, in which we look at the rules of different endeavours, the rules of writing, the rules of love, the rules of jazz, 
the rules of life amongst others. So I'm looking forward to that because that should be a lot of fun. Back in the fiction, though, I am definitely going to do a retrospective on the kitchen sink novels of the 1950s and 1960s to see how they're bearing up. I suspect that the attitudes and aspirations of those smart, bolshy, work-class writers have become more like historical artefacts than novels, but we'll see. So that's a taste of what's to come as far as the core activity of this channel goes, which is book discussion. But I've also got other plans, where there'll be guest readers, people who want to get on board and do their own book chat. We'll also be reading extracts or even series of chapters from classic and well-loved books, because we like books and we want to. I'll be doing interviews with writers, both established and unknown writers, and this will become a regular spot in the channel's output. And finally, we'll be setting up a monthly round table where alongside myself, there'll be a group of enthusiastic readers and writers discussing literature and other related stuff. So that's the 15 minute book club plans for 2022. They will probably change. They'll certainly evolve and expand. As Malka almost said, no plan survives first contact with the reader. But that's a general outline. And again, if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to contribute, suggest a book or topic, or if you'd like to just comment, Feel free to get in touch, contact me at this email jazzpunk101 at protonmail.com and I'm also on Facebook. At this stage the podcast is still developing so we welcome your involvement. And of course subscribing to the channel will help. So this is the 15 Minute Book Club wishing you a happy new year from myself David Wells and from producer Wilson. All the best. (laughs) For 2022. We'll be back next week for something completely different.